Hey YouTube, it is Rebecca coming in to you with No Limits on weeks 29 and 30. I wanted to give you a sneak peek at my new jeans that I bought. It is my first pair of jeans since surgery. They are size 14. I'm relatively pleased with them, you guys can see. Um, it's a new shirt too. Anyway, um, my high weight was 224.2, surgery weight 204, current weight 178. And I am up 2.2 pounds this week um, for a total loss of 42.2. Now, uh, my weight being up, I know everybody's like, why did you gain weight? Um, well, we've had a lot of festivities. Pretty much, I ate sugar. That's what happened. I went to Brahms and bought groceries, and they're like, here, have a free thing of brownies on us. On us. You know, we're just going to give you some free brownies out of nowhere. And I made the mistake of taking those to the football game. And we hadn't had dinner, and the game lasted forever, and I had them in my purse, which I shouldn't have had them in my purse, right? What was I doing with brownies in my purse? I ate the brownies, um, about two or three of them. And, um, and then I had made more cookies and just different festivities have happened. We've had a lot of holidays going on and, um, things happening. And, um, so I did, I ate the sugar. Also, somebody took us out to eat in the Cheesecake Factory. I didn't eat a whole piece, but I did eat a spoonful of chocolate. <sighs> so anyway, yes, yeah, sugar. The sugar monster got me. Um, that's what happened there. But, you know, in addition, I can add a few more things to that that make it not so bad is I am on more iron pills, and so my regulation has been halted. I am PMSing and my rings are extremely tight. So it could be a lot of water weight, but I know I probably have gained at least one pound out of all the stuff I ate the last couple of weeks, I have to be honest. So I went in to see the dietitian. Remember, uh, she had been really rude to me in the conference in front of everybody when I raised my hand and asked, and I was like, I am not going back to her and all that. Here in the back, with the other dietitian going, oh, well, this is my patient. I think they must have just gotten it confused. I want to see her. So I had to go see. <laughs> I had to go see that other dietitian. But I don't, she didn't say anything to me. She wasn't rude. She was really nice. So maybe she forgot or something. <sighs> anyway, I guess you can't try to escape things. I guess you have to face them. And once you get over things, you know, deal with the issue, then you can move on in life. I tried to skip that one. That didn't work. Okay. She told me that at this stage in the game, I should only be eating about three-fourths a cup of food, and I'm eating about a cup of food. So I need to pull back on that a little bit. She's changing a few things up, wanting me to have more protein. I haven't been getting all my protein in. I did have some hair loss yesterday again. So I did do one day of fasting. Um... And I found out that your stomach does shrink like it did before you have the surgery. So that was nice to find that out. I still am really tripping on my hair. I, I'm coming up to a point where I could go see K-Star and have my hair done by her, but I know she's about to get married in Oklahoma City. If you don't have her on your on your friends, for she is a VSD or veteran, and she's really cool. K-Star. I really want to go to her and get my hair done. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm going down to where she lives here in a couple weeks, so I'm still debating about that. Also, you know, a lot of stress happened this last couple weeks. Um, what happened was, uh, for those of you that don't know, I have four children, uh, two of which I have adopted that are my sister's children, and the other two are foster that are our friend's children that we took in so their children didn't have to go into um, the DHS system, which is a real pain. Um, so we uh, have four children. We went from zero children to four children, and it was really pretty stressful. And when I had all four children, I decided to go ahead and get my VSG surgery. Why not? <laughs> if you're going through tons of stress in life, you might as well just really go for it, right? Anyway, so 
My younger sister is a pretty heavy drug addict living on the streets in Denver, MIA. She does services whenever I get a bill that she's used my name or I find her on <laughs> mugshots.com where she's been arrested. I don't, we don't hear from her or anything. Um, about two months ago, I received a bill in my name where she had gone to the ER uh, and used my name. And I tried to call to find out because I'm worried sick. You know, it's my little sister, so I'm sort of worried sick about her a little bit. Um, but they wouldn't tell me why she had gone in. So then a couple of days ago, I go uh, to the door and I have to sign a certified letter. I open it up and it says that I was being summoned to court for a baby in Denver and leaving it at the hospital. I had a baby. I about freaked out. I mean, this was like, oh my gosh, my sister has had a baby. I didn't know it was a baby that she had. She's on drugs. Is the baby okay? My name is on the baby's birth certificate. I mean, it's like a huge mess, right? And I'm sitting here just grieving over this. This is my little nephew, too, you know, and I'm like tripping out. And so, like, I had the whole emotional thing of, oh my gosh, you know, maybe we should, we need to take the baby, you know, and he's not well, and all the stuff that's going on. And my husband's like, no, we cannot have and take in any more kids. No, 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 no. And I'm just like, oh, I'm really grieving over it. But he's in a really good foster home in Denver. And we've opened up all forms of communication to him, but that was kind of like an emotional mess, if you could just imagine. So anyway, my name was on his birth certificate. So I had a baby. So this was a big couple of weeks of first. I got my first pair of jeans. I had my first weight gain, and I had my first baby. And my first day of fasting. Ah, there you go. This is my week 29 and 30. Uh... If it's on your heart, please pray for little Gavin Sebastian. He was born premature, three pounds. He's at five pounds now. If you're a praying person, you might put him on your list. But he's with a nice foster family, and they want to open up communication. So that my two kids, which are my niece and nephew, can have communication with their new little brother, and that I can see my nephew, and at least we can be in contact with him. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Love you all so much.